What's up guys? This is Luke for LNZ Fitness, bringing a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Arch Nemesis Swiss Bar from Bells of Steel. And let's see if its value is a right fit for your home gym. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, we are here in the garage gym. Uh, it looks a little different. No, there's no skit. Where's the Lovely M? So Lovely M is actually sick. Uh, so I decided to just film this on my own, a different style of video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this style of video. Uh, did, do you like the old style? Love your guys' opinions, but uh, today it's solo. Uh, giving you guys a overview of the Arch Nemesis Bar from Bells of Steel. But before we get started, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, because you know your boy is on the road to monetization. And we're at like 3,200 watch hours. Subscribers are growing too. I appreciate everyone hopping on the live streams because the next live stream, we actually have a special guest coming, which you guys will find out soon. We're gonna talk home gyms. So I'm excited for that next Sunday for you guys. Um, so I appreciate all the support you guys have for me on this channel, especially riding solo today without the lovely camera woman. Anyways, guys, so in today's video, we are reviewing the Bells of Steel Arch Nemesis Swiss Bar. So Bells of Steel was kind enough to send this to your boy to review. Uh, I've had a really good relationship with Bells of Steel. Out of any of the companies I work for, they're one of my favorites because they're very personal. They seem very genuine. They care about me, my content. And that's the main thing with me or reviewing equipment guys is the company's value and the people. And I've had nothing but good experiences with them guys. And even beyond this bar, that's already a win for me um, with their company. So first thing I want to talk about is the unboxing. So I'll have the clip over here on the side of the unboxing came well packaged in its cardboard box. And then in the cardboard box, when you open it, it was in a plastic, say, sheets uh, covering um, so there was not really a lot of extra protection that the bar could have which i would say is one thing they could work on is adding a little extra support to their bar because uh, you never know when it's in the truck moving around that extra support could savor the bar and especially you know you spend your hard-earned money that's something they could uh they could figure out but I mean, for me, when I got it, it was still in pretty good condition. But I just wanted to point that out. I'm not saying, oh, Bell's Steel, get it together. Come on, guys. It, just something they could work on. Um, if we're also talking about the price of this bar, it's a budget specialty bar, guys. It's 200 bucks. $200. And uh, they have free shipping on their products and 30-day uh, money-back guarantee, which is already a win with a bar, budget bar, and the perks of their company. Uh, they're actually, I wanna say this is probably the, one of the cheapest or is the cheapest camber bar out there. There's not a ton of camber bars out there, but they are on the market as the best budget bar out there for your home gym. And I wanna kind of break down the video today and see if this it is true. Is it one of the best cambered budget bars out there for your guys' home gym? So let's break this down more. All right, guys, so let's break this down more in great detail. So um, on the side here, I'm gonna show you a close-up of the bar, uh, just get a feel how it looks. Um, obviously, it's a little bit farther out the camera angle, so it'll be a better idea of the real look feel of the bar. Um, I kinda wanna talk about first the specs of the bar and then kinda talk about versatility after that. So if we're talking specs of this bar, first thing is weight capacity. This can hold up to 600 pounds. So you're, that's, not, that's not a ton of weight capacity for this bar because of the reason, because this is actually, which I'll get into about versatility, this is actually a lat attachment. So you can attach this to your lat tower pulley system to do different lat pull down movements with these different grips. So that kind of where is the 600 pound capacity comes from because again, this bar actually only weighs 24 pounds. Uh, a lot of people say that it feels like a toy when they're carrying it. It feels really light because obviously your traditional bar is 45 pounds. This is 24, so <laughs> you can add a couple plates on this. You're going to look like you're freaking jacked, baby. Uh, I know I feel pretty jacked putting on two plates thinking I'm a, you know, competing with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but jokes aside, uh, 
keep that in mind, guys. Uh, if we're going to do, the next thing I kind of want to do, guys, is talk about the grip lengths here, uh, which, again, I'll show a clip here, too, of the grip lengths as I'm talking. Uh, these inner grips here, the closest grips, the narrowest ones are 12 inches. And then if we're talking uh, our second grip here, more in the middle, these are 20.5 inches. And then as we go farther out, our widest grip is 29 inches in length. So the reason behind having these different grips, it hits different parts of, you know, you know when you're doing chest, if you're going narrow, you hit more of your triceps. Obviously in the middle, you're doing chest, it's still hitting the pretty solid part of your chest. Wider you go, the wider your chest. If you're doing rows, obviously pulling movements, the wider it is, the more lat focused it is, the more narrow you go, the more middle back focused it is. Um, a couple other things to add about this bar is the fact that neutral grip and the camber. So the neutral and camber is meant um, predominantly for the camber here is what they call it, that swoop. Yeah, guys, swoop. I don't even know if that's a word. Uh, I didn't want to redo the clip, so I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> I'm just talking. It's camber. It's camber, guys. Is meant for range of motion because you think about a straight bar. Okay, as you're going down, there's not really, you can't have go as far and deep as you want on bench compared to this swoop here, because as you go with this swoop camber, they call it, it gets deeper into your chest, which gets you a better chest pump, I would say. It's different, more muscle fibers in your chest to help you grow your bench, um, which is the main concept of a camber of this bar is to work, work bench. Um, which is mostly what I use with this bar, but I do do pulling movements with it, um, which I'll get into later. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about in this clip is versatility, guys. Versatility is one of the most important things to have in a home gym. Why? Because you gotta think about, like for me instance, I have a small space, and I want to get equipment that I can use for many different things because I can't afford to have all these crazy commercial gym uh, leg press, leg machines, you know, chest press, these weight loaded like machines. We, we can't fit any of that in here. So we have to find equipment that is space saving, versatile to, you know, to get the different variation of lifts we want. And this kind of bar does it because not only is it used for benching and rowing, it's also a cable attachment for different lat pull downs, which yeah, I've always wanted a multi-grip lat pull down for the home gym because I feel like it hits different parts of your back. And this does it, guys. And that is a total win in the home gym is the versatility of this. All right, guys, so next thing I wanna talk about is the knurling of this bar, because um, especially if you're going in to go heavy on bench, knurling is very is, is an important aspect of a bar, um, which I'm gonna show a close-up clip of that right now. Uh, this has a very, they say, mild knurling, to more I'd say passive, to where it's, it's there, but there's not much to it. So I would definitely suggest if you are going to be lifting super heavy with this, um, again, keep in mind it's only 24 pounds, so you have to add a little bit differently when you're lifting. And I would suggest maybe doing like some sort of liquid chalk or chalk on your hands. I know I have liquid chalk that I've used with this bar. Is it a big deal? No, a lot of people use liquid chalk or chalk when they lift as it is. So. It's something to keep in mind, maybe, because the knurling is more passive. Chalk would might be a nice fit, um, not fit, something to put on your hands, obviously, to help you guys out. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention too, guys, is the fact with the sleeves, when you're putting on clips, your two inch Olympic like plates you put on with your you know two inch clips does not work with this. You have to get what's called axle clips, uh, which are 1.9 uh, inches. Um, these actually are from Bells of Steel. I got these um, after I got the bar because I, I didn't realize the fact that my collars I have would not fit on this bar. So I had to get these axle clips, which um, these aren't bad. I think I got them for 30 bucks. They're, they're more kind of plasticky, but they get the job done. Um, if you want to go high per now on the axle clips, I'm sure Rogue has them too, a little bit more pricey for um, whatever it is you want to get. Um, for your guys' bar. But just something to keep in mind with the clips and the knurling, guys. So a couple other things to mention too with this bar, guys. It has a black powder coat finish um, across the entire bar, which um, eventually there's gonna be some chips in the bar, which 
it, it's going to happen if you're banging this thing around all the time in your rack. It's it's not going to be you know where the black part black powder coat finish is going to be intact on the entire bar. But that's the thing you get when you're buying a bar you're using all the time. It's not going to be within a year. It's going to be in a pristine condition. Um, it's going to get a little bit of chips here and there, but it. It still is a nice, I really like the welding on this too. Um, I really don't see a lot of issues with the welding of it. Uh, I would say, it, it, I'm just really happy how it came intact. I was very impressed with it. And uh, one more thing to mention too, before we talk about certain lifts I wanna do and kind of show you guys certain lifts is the fact when you are putting this bar in your rack guys, make sure the logo is sticking out like this because this is the appropriate way for when you're benching uh, you know, incline, flat, uh, just something to keep in mind. And then when you're doing lat pull downs, when you're lat pull down, make sure the logo is facing towards you, which I'll show in all the clips here in a second. So um, before I do the next clip of showing you guys some movements and action with the bar, uh, so you get a, like a real like live action um, footage of how the bar looks as I work out in the garage, uh, some of the lifts that they um, advertise this can do is obviously bench press, which is one of the most important lifts you use with a camera bar is for that range of motion and to help with your shoulders, especially a straight bar when you're doing straight bar bench compared to camber bench, it's less strain on your shoulders with the camber version. And then they also you know, advertise doing rows and then obviously you have your lat attachment here for lat pull downs. Um, they also say you could do skull crushers, curls, and also do front raises. So I'm, I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you guys all those lifts, kind of see how it looks, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking around for this review. All right guys, hope you enjoyed those different uh, workout clips. Uh, the versatility it shows with the Arch Nemesis Swiss Bar from Bells of Steel, guys. Uh, I wanna give you a couple things to mention pros, maybe cons real quick before we um, you know, finish off this video is I would say cons, if you're a seasoned lifter, remember this only goes to 600 pounds, so this might not be for you if you're someone who wants to lift super heavy. Remember the knurling is more mild, passive, so consider chalk. Or if you are going to purchase this for your home gym. Uh, again, knurling is better than no knurling though. Think about that too. And I would say packaging, hope they you know, work on adding styrofoam to their packaging uh, to make it you know, a little bit more safe with the bar um, intact in the box. And if you're someone out there that has the expendable money, this budget bar might not be for you because you can afford Kabuki Strength, the Cadillac bar of the home gym and, or rep fitness or Titan Fitness. But the reason why I like this bar, guys, is A, versatility. The different things you can do in a small space like mine with this bar is a win. The camber version, that range of motion, the neutral grip, to save those shoulders, the $200 price tag with all of those things you can do. I don't care if it weighs 24 pounds. I'm gonna add two plates and look like a freaking brute, dude. I'm taking it as a win. And <laughs> The fact that I just love Bells of Steel, even if they didn't send me this, this is a bar that would be on my list to look out for because of the price tag and all the different things it can do with it. And the fact that I love Bells of Steel company, I love the people behind it. But yes, I would definitely recommend someone wanting to look for this bar for their home gym. I would definitely recommend it uh, for you guys. Anyways, thanks for sticking around and watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Riding solo here is definitely different for me. Appreciate it. If you guys stuck around the whole video, enjoy this review. I talked a lot, but there was a lot I wanted to say because I really do have a lot of value out of this bar for the home gym. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and next week we have a live stream with a special guest. I'm super excited for you guys to come for that. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. Let's keep growing the channel. This is Luke for LNZ Fitness. We'll see you guys later.